Okay, okay, Brother Mike, this is uh, part two of your uh, question. Uh, let me get the audio going here. Okay, Brother Mike, this is part two of your question. I uh, got the audio and the video going here. Um, now on to the second part of your question. Uh, we just dealt with the issue of when did Christ ascend with paradise. Um, now you connected it to Ephesians 4 verse 8 through 10. Again, uh, for those who may be uh, following us at you on YouTube, uh, we're doing a simulcast as I record the audio to send to you. I'm also recording a video that we're going to post on YouTube channel, NorCal Grace, all one word. Let me read again Ephesians chapter number 4 verse 8 in our King James Bible. Ephesians chapter number 4 and verse 8 through 10. Paul writes, Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same, excuse me, also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Now in our last session, we, we, we discussed that, uh, or at least I didn't see Christ ascend with paradise. He ascended to paradise. But with paradise, and, and I assume you meant when the, the Old Testament saints, and we talked about that. You connected that to Ephesians 4, verses 8 through 10. Now, Ephesians 4, verse 8 through 10 does deal with Christ descending down and ascending up. But as far as when he took the saints, and that's what I'm assuming when you say, when did Christ ascend with paradise? When did he transfer paradise from the heart of the earth as it was in, in, in his day to now 2 Corinthians 12 up into the third heaven again I think that happened before Paul was saved before Ephesians uh, the doctrine of the, of the book of Ephesians the book of Ephesians that doctrine is part of the revelation of the mystery of Christ given to the Apostle Paul what we call the dispensation of grace of God uh, this doctrine of Ephesians wasn't made known as you know it's called the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, Romans 16, 25. The doctrine in Ephesians wasn't made known until revealed to the Apostle Paul, even years uh, into his ministry. The body of Christ was a mystery. Paul was the first member of the body of Christ, 1 Timothy 1, verse 15 and 16. The doctrine of Ephesians came, you can say, even about 30 years later of after his salvation. Uh, you have the early books of Paul. You have uh, Galatians, First and Second Thessalonians, First and Second Corinthians, and Romans, what we call Acts epistles, or early, early in his ministry. Then you have the, the the prison epistles, as it were, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. They 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 finish the revelation of the mystery. Then you have uh, the hope, uh, uh, excuse me, the pastoral epistles, First and Second Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Paul's thirteen books are broken up that way. Um, now Ephesians. So by the time Paul wrote the book of Ephesians, Christ had already ascended with paradise. That happened even before Paul was saved, at least what I see. Now what's going on in Ephesians chapter 4? Well notice, he says, wherefore he saith. Uh, Paul, Paul is quoting Psalm 68, verse 18. Wherefore he, uh, wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. That corresponds with what Paul says in Colossians about the heavenly places. He spoiled principalities and powers and made a show of them openly, Colossians 2, uh, triumphing over them uh, in the cross. Uh, the, most people think that when it says he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men, that that has to do with the uh, ascending with paradise. That's the, that's the normal uh, understanding, of, but that's, that's not what Paul is talking about there. Uh, Paul is not talking about the time where, Paul, where the Lord took the Old Testament saints up there. Uh, Paul's message is the mystery of Christ, the body of Christ, the dispensation of grace. Um, he's not dealing with that. The issue of leading captivity captive, uh, Ephesians and, and Colossians are sister epistles. So when you want understanding of, of that, uh, of, 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 of um, if you want light on Ephesians, you go to Colossians. You want light on Colossians, you go to Ephesians. Ephesians talks about, focuses on the church, the body of Christ. The church, which is his body, and our and our calling for the heavenly places, Colossians focuses on Christ as the head of the body, and his ministry 
to the heavenly places through us okay so you are just gonna get those uh, right now watch this why did Paul quote Psalm 68 verse 18 because that is a <clears throat> messianic psalm about the victory that the Lord Jesus Christ has over his enemies in the earth in a prophetic program those who those who had Israel in a captives the lawful captives as it were Satan his angel uh, Satan his and his cohorts uh, through the Antichrist will be defeated and they will be destroyed and then God's going to spoil them take take from them and give it to Israel well the same is true uh, that was in that's going to be in the earth when Christ returns to fulfill prophecies establish his earthly kingdom destroy the Israel's uh, Israel, uh, enemies of Israel sets up his kingdom and give the, the, the kingdom to uh, his people Israel and the Old Testament Saints well the same is true for the heavenly places the body of Christ will take over the heavenly places uh, they are now being usurped a majority of that has been usurped by Satan and his angels we know from Ephesians um, we, we wrestle Ephesians 6 we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places okay we, we battle against Satan and his angels that's what he's talking about when he when he sent it up on high Ephesians 4 8 he led captivity captive that's not taking the Old Testament Saints up to, to with him in paradise uh, Paul is not dealing with that uh, that's already happened in prophecy somewhere between the time he went down in paradise and we know for sure that you know by the time Paul was uh, in the third heaven uh, caught up to the third heaven 2 Corinthians 12 what Paul is dealing with here in Ephesians 4 8 the led captivity captive is go with me to Colossians 2 Colossians is going to give light on this Colossians chapter 2 look at Colossians chapter number 2 and uh, where is he spoiled principalities and powers um, pardon me let me see here sometimes I do this on the fly let me get this uh, what I'm looking for is when he says he spoiled and having spoiled principality and powers give me a second verse 15 Colossians 2 15 here we go and having spoiled principalities and powers he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it that Satan and his unholy angels that's what he's talking about when he led captivity captive over there in the Old Testament when a king would uh, conquer his enemies they would parade the leader of his enemies and his people through the streets make a show of them openly kind of humiliate them okay well spiritually speaking that's what the Lord Jesus Christ did as well uh, to Satan and his angels through the cross over in 1st Corinthians 2 Paul says which none of the he says uh, for we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory which none of the princes of this world knew it's the principalities powers which none of the princes of this world knew he's not just talking about humans he's talking about Satan and his angels the prince of this world the Lord calls him in the book of John which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it this mystery how God would reconcile the heavens back unto himself through a new agency called the church body of Christ they would not have crucified the Lord of glory they would have not crucified Christ but through it through the cross Colossians 2 15 he, he and having spoiled principalities and powers he made a show of them that's Satan and his angels those principalities the princes of this world them openly triumphing over them in it okay he spoiled them that's why in Colossians he says let no man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit the believer don't let someone come with anything but the preaching of the cross as the power of Almighty God <clears throat> and that's the, the the message of grace given to the Apostle Paul so I just want you to understand that there's a difference between when did Christ ascend with paradise Ephesians 4 verse 8 through 10 that's the normal standard uh, reading of that passage captivity captive but that's not what he's talking about the captivity captive is the one who held Israel lawful captives it's called back in the Old Testament Satan they were under that law the, the penalty of the law and he got them he spoiled them but also Satan not only he wants to be the most high God possessor of heaven and earth 
Therefore, through the cross, when it comes to the heavenly places, the whole book of Ephesians is about that. Okay, that's the context, not the earth, the heavens, the heavenly places. He spoiled them. So, the led captivity captive of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 8, is Colossians 2.15, the spoiling of the principality and powers. Hopefully that makes sense. What I'm going to do is, since we're at about, let's see here on my video, we're at about 10 minutes. <clears throat> I'll deal with uh, the other parts of that verse and, and your questions in, in subsequent emails, okay? I'm su excuse me, subsequent uh, audio and videos. We'll just put 10 to 15 minute snippets um, that people can uh, digest. All right, brother, I'm going to stop this and then we'll, we'll get to... Um, the other parts of, of your question. Uh, again, grace and peace, Brother Mike. Uh, talk to you soon. Brother Ron. Bye-bye.